Hello everyone, welcome to Neetu's Home Food. Making idli soft and crispy dosas is a very big challenge for all beginners. Sometimes many experts too have a hard time to get it right. Today I'm going to show you the secret ingredient that helps you get soft idlis and crispy dosas. My kids love dosas that are crispy and idlis that are soft. If not, it's hard to make them eat. So I tried out various combination and finally found this that I'm going to show you today. Also there is a big myth that idli dosa batter is the best when it is made with the stone grinder. I'm going to break that myth today and show you how simply you can make it with a regular blender. So why wait let's see how to make it right. But before that subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet and turn on the notification bell for instant update on the recipes that I post. And for the hotel sambar, chutney and vadagari check out my channel. Let's start with some preparations. You will need idli rice. Don't use any random rice, just use idli rice. This makes a big difference. Trust me. Take 3 cups of idli rice, 1 cup urad dal and half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. Wash the idli rice well with water for 3 times and then soak it for 5 hours. Mix the fenugreek seeds and urad dal and wash it for just 2 times with water and soak it for 1 hour. So you have to soak it just an hour before you are going to grind the batter. Here the rice has been soaked for 5 hours, the urad dal has been soaking for an hour and this is the secret ingredient. I am using 1 cup of cooked rice. Now grind the urad dal in batches. Add the same water that it has been soaking in for. It will be ready in 2 minutes. It has to be smooth like this. Adding cooked rice makes a big difference. It makes the idlis more softer and spongy and the dosas crispy too. Now grind the soaked idli rice with cooked rice finely. You can replace the cooked rice with soaked poha too for the same quantity. Do it in batches. Add the required salt, mix it well. Cover it and let it sit in a warm place for 8 hours. Sometimes in winter it might take 8 to 10 hours. Depends on the temperature. So here it is after 8 hours. Fully fermented and ready to make idlis and dosas. Mix the batter well because sometimes the rice will get settled down below. Grease the idli plates. Fill it with idli batter and steam it for 10 minutes. So here it is, steamed and ready to be served. It stays in soft for longer time. Top it up with some clarified butter and enjoy it with your favorite side dish, either sambar or chutney. Check out my channel for the recipes of sambar and chutney. Many of us think that 
We need different batters for idli and dosa. Actually, you can make it with the same batter. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for instant updates. Thanks for watching.